Hey, this will be a video series for you to get to know your studio software for your Silhouette machine. So you just bought your Silhouette and downloaded your software and you see all of this. Um, it can be quite intimidating, but don't be overwhelmed. We're going to walk through some of these things. I'm a five minute video type of person, so we're not going to go through all of these icons. We're going to get our feet wet and start doing stuff. But once you're finished the series, you will know this program. Okay, so what do we do? Well, first thing we need to do is get some files to cut. So we're going to go to the design store, and this is how you get to your design store. You may have to set up your store and, uh, and make an account. But once you have that, here are your files. There are several types of files. There are your um, print and cut files, which you'll see this P here, and it is just that. It's a print and cut. There are 3D files, which are um, things that usually pop up. This will be a 3D file, and you'll notice by this icon with the box that it's 3D. And then there'll be your font files, which will have the font symbol here. And then there will be your standard cut files, which will have no type of icon. Okay, so once you purchase your file, now you need to know where to get your file. It's not going to be saved in files like, your, like um, most things on your computer. It's going to be in your library. Your library is going to be located here with this icon. To open up any of these files, you will just double click on them. Um, anything you download will automatically be saved into your recent download file folder, but you can create your own folders to organize the way you see fit. So once we opened up a file, this, will, this icon will always bring me back to my uh, design view. And we've opened those files and it will put them on my board automatically. And let's talk about our work area. This white area represents your material, such as vinyl, and this dark gray area represents your cutting mat. Now, I have three different files. This is a print and cut, and it came in just like this, and what it will do is usually cut the outline. This is a standard cut file, and this is a 3D file. Once I cut it out, I'm to fold by the dotted lines to create, um, actually this one will create a purse, and I'll pull that up for you. This is what your 3D purse would look like that's on my mat. So now that we have what we want to cut, we can go ahead and cut things. We are going to want to go to the cut settings. We always want to check what our cut settings are. Um, the lines usually get darker red to let you know what you're cutting and what you're not. So when I select this butterfly and I select no cut, you'll notice the red line goes away. If I say cut the edge on this one design, the edge would be the square. And if I do a full cut, it will cut the butterfly and the square. On this one, if I do cut the edge, for some reason it's going to be everything. Um, and same with this, you'll notice it's not cutting these areas. If I do just an edge cut, but if I do the full cut, it will include it all. Um, so if you ever have cutting problems, this is something you may want to consider. Now what we have to do is pick the type of material that we are cutting on. Um, and I'm just going to say we're cutting on vinyl. And I have uh, pretty good luck using the standard uh, cut settings. However, we can adjust those cut settings here. This is what you need to ratchet, physically ratchet your blade to on your machine. Um, and this is a, your standard cut, and this will overcut 
this is where any connecting lines will just cut into each other for easy weeding. Um, and then from there, you can go ahead and send it on to your silhouette to do a cut. You may want to do a test cut, which will just cut a little uh, circle and triangle right here just to make sure your blade is working. And that is always a good practice. Now let's talk about saving our working file. This is going to be a little different than our library. What you'll want to do is actually go to save your file. Um, and I've already saved it, so it's not going to show anything. So once we save our file, we can name it and organize it into our uh, libraries on our computer, not your libraries within your program. Anything that is a silhouette file, you'll notice it says Studio 3 with just an S icon. So there is no preview, but a quick trip, if you, a quick tip, if you want to preview a file, you can just drag it over and it'll show you what the file is. Um, that'll conclu conclude lesson number one. You may want to get on to lesson number two. Thanks.